broken along I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found Hi guys, welcome back to my channel So today is kind of a let's chat story time video um, So as you're aware from my previous videos that I have gone to uni, um, I'm kind of going into my second year if I pass. Um, so basically last year I stayed in university accommodation and then I moved out to private. If you don't know what the difference is, basically private accommodation is owned by a separate company and university accommodation is basically what the university own. Last year I stayed in a townhouse with tw like 11 other people. There was 12 of us in one house. There was a few girls that I didn't get along with, but you're aware of that in my other video. Um, so let's start with Freshers Week. As I said in my last video, Freshers Week is very overhyped. Um, it's really not worth the money getting a wristband, but people still did it anyway. They, there was so much they could have improved, um, such as other events, themed nights. They did have a few themed nights, but it wasn't that good. Um, they could have made it more exciting for new students because I know they are, I, don't, I think I remember seeing it advertised somewhere that some unis had like pixie lot, they had singing acts um, so they could have made it a bit better like that um, because the university do have contacts um, from previous students that have gone there who have been successful um, so they could have easily done something to make it more exciting but anyway, um, going past that, um, so on Halloween we had this house party um, with a few societies. At the time I didn't think this through and I don't think people in our house thought this through. We're like on quite a strict uni ground so we have security constantly going around checking each other's houses, making sure people aren't doing stuff that you shouldn't, um, like drugs. The first week we were there um, we kind of threw kind of like a house party but we didn't really think this through because we put notes on our window saying oh um, we're having a house party feel free to come around we didn't really think about that because at the same time it is a public um, ground so someone could have easily from the outside gone to our party and we wouldn't even know they could have stole stuff loads of stuff could have happened that we shouldn't really have done even though to get in our house you do need like a key card so they wouldn't have gotten it anyway even if like um unless someone else let them in uh, but there were a few people at the party that we didn't really know um because people from societies um, because a few people in our house did lacrosse and cheerleading and so lacrosse and cheerleading they came to our party and they were so like a few of them were so rude there was no need to be that rude um, they were telling us to shush when we were playing a game yet it was our house yes I can understand like you're a society you do games but if you if you're going to be quite strict like that don't tell someone to shush because that's just plain rude we welcomed you into our house so just respect we're not all going to be quiet um but anyway so that happened and then everyone started getting a bit too drunk um a few people blacked out they had to go to their bed we had to literally carry them to the bed and then eventually everyone kind of just got a bit knackered me and two three other girls and then i think the two boys in our house we still wanted to go out because we're all dressed up and everything so we went out and then eventually it kind of just escalated we had to get everyone to leave we were like oh we're all going out now so you either leave our house or you come out with us so that was that story it didn't really end well the next day kind of everyone um kind of got a bit peed off with certain people because people got too drunk that they should have done. We had to keep checking up on people because people were throwing up in the toilets. That's the only thing about Freshers Week and people have just turned 18. They don't know what they can limit regarding drinks. I was fine that night. I was a bit drunk. I did cry. It got a bit of out of hand. So I called secu like security because I didn't know what to do. I called security and I was like, there's people in our house that shouldn't be there. And then I kind of got a bit more upset because the societies were kind of pointing at me, looking at me, like pointing. And I was drunk at the time, so I didn't really know why they were pointing at me. So I got more upset, so I went upstairs. And then, like, a girl from our house, she kind of followed me and made sure I was okay. And I was like, no, I'm not okay because they keep pointing at me. Like, have I done something wrong? Like, they've got to get angry and all this stuff. 
everyone could tell the party was getting out of hand. Every, like, people that were kind of sober, they could tell it was getting out of hand. Because there was girls in a house running to other, like, in the flats, like, opposite. They were running into people's houses. Um, so it was really getting out of hand. So I had to call security. I was like, as a 21-year-old, a 20-year-old, I couldn't stand just standing there watching all these young adults run around crazy, disrupting other people's houses. It just wasn't, like, right. They shouldn't have done that. Um, so I called security to try and calm it all down. And that's why they kind of all dispersed and we kind of went our own ways. Like, we kind of went out. A few people stayed inside. Um, they went to bed. Some people cleared up. And then, obviously, we went out because we were like, we're not staying here. It's getting way out of hand and I'm done. Right, um, and then another day, I, th I think it was, this was like a few days later, if you didn't see on the news, our campus was actually on the news. Like, I think it was three students decided to set off fireworks in people's houses. They were putting them down the road. Um, basically, it was massive. Security did nothing. And I can understand why they did nothing. Because it's not in their job description to... Well, it is their job description to protect us. But that's out of their control. They needed to call the police straight away. I can't remember if they did or not. But yeah, basically, it kind of got really out of hand. I think the police came. I think the fire brigade came. I think ambulances came. I think it was like the whole gist because someone put, like one of the students put a firework in someone's house and they weren't allowed in there. People were in hospital with injuries and apparently it was students. I heard somewhere, um, someone apparently said that security told a, like a student that apparently people join the university to kind of go undercover to sell drugs. That's what I've heard. Don't know if it's true or not. I can't say if it's true or not. Um, but that is so unsafe. Like the amount of people I knew that were doing drugs on our campus, even someone in our house did drugs. He was aggressive. He was horrible. As soon as he didn't do drugs, he was fine. The thing is, I don't want that around me. Like, I've come to university to get away from that. But then people join uni to do... Like, it's just a vicious cycle of, like... I guess it depends what uni you go to. Um, this one's in Northampton, so it's quite a rough area, I think. It's not exactly the nicest area. There are nice areas in Northamptonshire, because I know Anastasia Kingsnorth, I think. That's her last name. She's from Northamptonshire. Don't get me wrong, this is a nice kind of area... It's just a shame that some people have to ruin it for the university and do stuff like that. Because we actually had open days a few days later and they saw it all over the news. People aren't going to come to the university if they know stuff like that's going to happen. But then on the other hand, it has put us on the map. So we have finally... Because when people think of Northampton University, they think, oh, like, it's not a good uni and all this. But it is actually such a good uni. Um, it's just a shame that certain people have to ruin it for other people. And then during Freshers' Week, we had people knock on our windows and doors saying, oh, do you have alcohol? Do you have drugs? And we're like, um, there's a shop down the road. Go and get some alcohol yourself. We're not going to just give away free alcohol to a stranger. Living on campus, you just need to be aware of what stuff happens. No one, like, everyone says about the good stuff, but no one really tells you about the bad stuff. What I've literally just all said. Like, people play music in every single house and flat. Well, almost every single flat and house. I wouldn't say everyone was playing music. But you'd have music in five different directions. Because I remember someone blasting music at, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. And I had a 9 a.m. the next day. Um, I didn't call security, but I was so tempted to call security. But the thing is, I don't want to snitch because at the end of the day, it's university. But at the same time, they shouldn't be playing loud music. People on the other side of the house apparently couldn't hear it that much. 
and then certain people could hear like next door play music when they were having parties um it was it just wasn't a good experience for me living on campus i didn't get along with some of the people that lived on campus and then another thing is was the washing the washing was so expensive i would have to spend like 10 quid on my washing just for one week that is ridiculous that takes out a massive chunk on my loan and people don't really speak about that like when we came to our open day they didn't really say oh um by the way the washing is quite expensive they didn't really say anything about that i said to my mom oh i'm just gonna have to start hand washing my stuff at the same time like that wouldn't like that's not fair for me i shouldn't have to do that to save money they should make washing free and then i guess people would take advantage of it but at the same time they need to do something about it they either need to make it cheaper or make it free they need to do something to change the pricing because that is ridiculous when i'm in my third year um so next year will be my second this year isn't yeah so next year will be my second and then the year after will be my third i need to find somewhere to live for my third year hopefully as i said i hope youtube will be successful by then so i can use it that money towards maybe i don't know finding a flat or something if i am successful probably won't be that successful because it takes people years and years to get successful on youtube and i'm not doing this for the money i enjoy doing videos for you guys this is my dream i've been dreaming about this since like jenna marbles um if you guys remember her if you're like under the age of 19 you probably won't it probably won't like trigger your mind as much as someone who was like born in that era in my third year i need to find somewhere to live and the only one i found is a studio flat which is 135 pound a week now that is a lot no actually no i think it was 165 the one i was looking at was 165 pound a week that is a massive chunk out of my loan our current place is 120 pounds per week which isn't as bad um but something needs to change these prices are ridiculous for students they don't understand that we're literally taking out a loan to go and help with costs um so something needs to change obviously doing this video and ranting isn't gonna help um but i just thought i'd share you my experience of university and how sometimes it's not exactly the most positive experience don't get me wrong i have met amazing people throughout my time here i have met friends for life and i have met i have got so much experience and i just think that something definitely needs to change within the university regarding the whole coronavirus and lockdown people like who do creative subjects they can't get out equipment they can't get out cameras people like me who have a crappy laptop and don't have a camera we have to use our phone and the phone quality don't get me wrong it is good like it is really good it's hd so it's not it's not like it's bad they've had meetings they've discussed it but if my grade gets capped or is lower than a d i'm gonna be furious because i have worked my butt off this year i have worked so hard for everything that i have done for this year and they said it will be appreciated but how can it be appreciated over a laptop over an email it can't be appreciated like that yes they may say it like they appreciate it but a laptop or over a phone some people can't afford stuff like laptops phones and yes they have said oh we can give out ipods but what will an ipod do it's not exactly the best quality let's be honest and some of our assignments were filming assignments so we can't go out and film our planned project and then they said we have to write appraisal why we haven't done it and that is it frustrates me so much because we've all worked so hard this year for it to go just downhill like we had a studio production that we had to do and the third years don't get me wrong third years it is stressful for them at the same time it's stressful for everyone like we've all worked hard to get where we are now so third years had a live stream that they had an assignment for and we got told oh you have to be out earlier you have to be out 20 minutes earlier and then we didn't get in until 20 minutes later so that was a massive like that's 40 minutes out of our time that we should have had and that would have gave us enough time to do two other takes to make it perfect yet we had to do a final edit 
which was terrible. Um, the presenters couldn't read what they were reading and um, they really didn't find it out until halfway through. If we would have known that sooner, we would have been able to help them and find a way around it. Um, but because they didn't let us know, we had to do a final take, which none of us were happy with. When people think of uni, they think, oh, it's so easy. All you do is go out drinking and all this. No, it is so much more difficult than that. People don't understand the stresses we go through in and day out. Trying to scrape getting meals, trying to scrape getting money. Uh, that's why students resort to OnlyFans and other people resort to OnlyFans because it's the only way we can get extra money. People, like I have the maximum loan and I'm still struggling. I have a budget per week, which is 26 pound. 26 pound is nothing. And the only closest one is the co-op. And co-op is so expensive, it's ridiculous. The only thing that is cheap is maybe some bread and eggs. That's the only cheap thing. So it's not exactly cheap being a student. This is why I've done this video, because if people are applying for universities, just be aware that is not what everyone expects it to be. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be like, fairy tales like fairies and pumpkins and cinderella it's not gonna be like a fairy tale it's not gonna be you'll meet your prince you'll meet loads of friends you'll go on nights outs and all this stuff it's not gonna be the way everyone expects it to be just be aware that you will have mental breakdowns you will get stressed you will get upset it's just the way university works it's never gonna be perfect and if you want any advice, as I say, my inboxes are always open. If you have any queries or you have any, like if you just need someone to speak to, my inboxes will always be open. Um, my social media will be down below in the description box. Um, so please go and check it out. Please follow me on Instagram. I upload regularly. And go and, out, go, and please go and check out my um, TikTok. I upload regularly or I try to upload regularly on there as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a massive thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to see more videos from me and to get notified when I upload. I love you all so much. I hope you're safe and I'll see you next time.